Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today it's back into our PBEM challenge for Warplan Pacific. Uh, this game has really, really gotten interesting. It's now October 25th, 1942. I hover over Calcutta looking at the situation here. Now... Uh, I do have enemy movements on, so we can kind of see, you know, where he's headed, where he's going. It looks like he's come back here to Haiphong, which is a port supply. He had to try to get his units back in supply. Now, I am moving units down here with the idea of maybe just pressuring that a little bit. If we could sneak around the side and, like, take Haiphong, for instance, he would have no... I mean, I'm trying to look and see where he would even have supply coming in. I guess all the way down at Saigon or Kamrong, Kwong Ye. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. But the point being is I'm trying to get this unit down to Bangkok to cut off that part of the supply. He's also coming this way, uh, but we did get behind him. That is certainly... Uh, the case. I mean, that's the situation. We got behind him by landing here in Rangoon. Now we're heading down to Bangkok. He has landed a unit here at Chumpton. Uh, I just like to say Chumpton. Um, Anti-sub, war advancement, U.S. We went up to a 1941. Okay, we'll go see what that means here in a second on our advancement panel. Uh, we added 10 merchant marines to the U.S., landing ships, two for the U.S., and a supply oiler. Wow, that was a big support turn. Australia's landing ship has been added to the availability pool. Okay, good. Uh, supply convoy attacked. Zero stockpiles by the Axis naval forces were destroyed, and then they attacked one at 84-37, destroying 20. We have some units with no supply sources. Okay. Um, well, where do we st where do we start? There's a lot going on. Uh, let's go to last turn's combat. We had the partisan activity that we always have. Naval air interdiction. This was us, right? So he's brought his carriers in here. Uh, you can see three, two main carriers and a light carrier. Uh, he brought that in there. Our third tactical group said, hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's go hit this guy. And sure enough, we did. Uh, unfortunately, we got no uh, damage, but uh, well, we, did, we dealt no damage. We did take one damage. I'm actually quite happy it wasn't worse. Uh, carrier strike nothing you know he's trying to strike our unit out here nothing happened there ground strike he tried to hit this with air force third air division ground strike he tried to do it again ground strike he tried to hit this uh looks like we did not take any damage off of any of these ground strikes uh by port moresby so that's awesome um let's see Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, let's go to this current turn. Uh, again, we've got all this partisan activity. I'll just very quickly. I always like to show it to you, but, you know, it's it's kind of a broken record. Every turn you get the idea. Supply interdiction. Uh, this is where they attacked. Uh, they, only, they got zero of the stockpile. Uh, so we did get some in here. How much did we get? 24 of 80. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, we'll take that. Supply interdiction out here at WeWAC. Uh, <laughs> I just like to say WeWAC. Uh, WeWAC, we, somehow we still control it. I'm not really sure how he he doesn't have control of this. He just hasn't kind of walked through there yet, I guess, with an infantry unit. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, we don't control that. So if they take the supply, go for it. Um, deployment log. We have the Lark Force ready to go for the Brits. I wish we could put them right out, you know, out here somewhere. Uh, but all British forces go back here to the East African bases. So we'll set them up in the queue, ready to go. We got to remember we can ship that unit out. Uh, the U.S. We've got the 11th Corps, the 4th Fighter Group, both ready to deploy. So let's go to the U.S. West Coast. Uh, so we do have that new fighter group. That's exciting. Um, we'll just put that unit just outside of Los Angeles. And we'll put the fighter unit in Los Angeles. Uh, excellent. Okay. So there are five on uh, air combat. Not bad. Not bad. Um, Soviet Union. 
Not much going on there. Uh, China, November 12th. So we'll get that in a couple of turns. Um, Australia still has the landing ships. They're ready. You know, anytime we need to use them, maybe we'll do it this turn. Uh, infantry division is ready to deploy. Let's go down here. Where do we want to put this infantry division? Well, it's a heck of a question. Um, we could put it here and move it out to Port Adelaide. We could here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal right now. We, we've got plenty of units. We're in good shape. Um, didn't I already deploy that? Did we get two? Are you kidding me? Uh, how about right there? Okay, excellent. Wow, more more Australian units. And then Canada will get one November 12th. The communists, uh, nothing eminent. Uh, India gets another brigade, what's called a brigade, uh, but it's a division size unit. And New Zealand does as well next turn, next turn. All right, we looked at the combat log reports. Uh, let's look at casualties. Again, they continue to rise for the Japanese. Uh, we are starting to deal some damage to them. Uh, sunk ships, same old story. Uh, we've really got the same ships that have been sunk since, you know, very early on. Uh, war panel, no comment there, no comment there. Okay, uh, advancements. Let's go look at what that anti-sub does for the U.S. So it's up to 1941, all right? Um before we were just getting one point of anti-sub. We still only have one point of anti-sub, but we also added one point of defense. Uh, and so this is for escorts, convoy formations, spotting sonar, blah, 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 you see it all. Um, and so, you know, we did add a defense point here. Um, what else are we getting close on? Uh, large warships, that's, you know, coming along. Uh, carrier operations for the British, that's kind of a major one. Uh, planes, anti-tank, their units will go up to a 43 in the not-too-distant future. Uh, U.S. naval air training will go up fairly soon uh, in 21 days. What does that get us? Uh, that'll give us one more naval air for everything, so that's nice. Um, okay, uh, so that's advancements. Convoys, now the U.S. now has 37 uh, merch marines that it can send here there and everywhere now who needs what new zealand's looking pretty good india's looking fairly good um canada who cares uh australia looking fine you know 101 31 it's got plenty of oil um the uk now has 53 oil because we're sending it 35 uh you know tons points whatever you want to call it of oil every time 11 production okay um the u.s has more to send if we really wanted to and we could we could but I, i'm gonna leave it the same for now uh build queue we'll come back to that let's go out and move around some units what do you say so we've got this unit uh in madras i mean if things got dire but they're not we could send it out somewhere um, we've got a unit that's, I feel like these three, we can kind of get around them or destroy them. Now that would be three to two. If I hold down shift three to one odds. Okay. This unit six to one. Uh, let's bring the other. Yeah. Okay. Six to one with all of these units attacking this unit, uh, is 10 to one. It looks ready to be destroyed and it is, it just totally shattered. Okay, so that's uh, down one Japanese unit. I almost feel like he's leaving these behind to slow us down in our pursuit a little bit. Um, this is six to one. Sure, let's go ahead and hit that. Now he retreated. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this unit moving down the road though. Uh, and then I'll get this bigger unit to, should we come here or here? Let's go there. Four to one odds. He got retreated out again. Now he's got nothing left. These guys go three to one when they're together. Oh, not as good as I would have hoped. Uh, this unit we also will bring down the road. 
and start really, really trying to move into Burma and make our presence felt there. We'll hit again. Okay, well, we hit one there. He doesn't have a good place to go, really. Uh, we could also bring this unit out, but I think I'll keep that one here and I'll bring this one out. How about that? Um, I could put them in and make a large core. Make another large core, I should say. Uh, let's just get him going that way. All right, now we've got a contiguous line. That all looks good to me. This unit's going to make it. He's going to get into Bangkok. Uh, okay, uh, great. Now I'm going to move this unit up one, and I'm going to move this unit. Now, is that very defensible? No. Is that? No. Is that? Uh, somewhat. Um... Let's move him over here for now, but I want to bring this other unit up here, right? Let's get him put in at port. Okay, that works for me. Uh, let's get him put in at port, and then we'll disembark, and he goes right into that hex. All right, perfect, perfect. And then I think I'll combine these two, and I'll just make this like a... a core small so we've really got some stronger units over here and now we've got another british unit that should be ready to go and we can kind of do the same thing uh let's put that on a transport and we'll get him out here as far as we can in kind of a nondescript place just in case the japanese do have some ship roaming around out here for some reason um okay this all looks good i mean we've got them really on the back pedal now uh, these guys out here, I'm tempted to, to do something with them, but I, honestly, I'm probably just going to let them sit here. Kunming is so important, and I, I don't want to get in a situation where we overextend ourselves. So let's just kind of hang out there, and let me look through China, the rest of China. Um, this is fine, fine. Nobody on priority there, 23, 20. 25, 24, he no longer needs to be on priority, 23, I've got all these put together, you know, in a nice fashion, I feel like, 20, he's only 12 of 15, we've talked about that, I would like to put those two together, uh, I just don't have something great to replace them with, but I think what I'll have to do, I think I'll just have to, because he is kind of headed this way, I think I'll move this unit up there, because I'm not really anticipating him being able to break through this now. So I'm going to move this up there. I've got a 20 of 30 and a 22 of 30. Uh, let's actually put him on priority, get him a little extra. 22, 25. Now, here's where we get a little light again. Um, 23. Let's turn on. There we go. Uh, so now that, well, now that supply is back out here. Now that's interesting to me. I, I, we lost supply here in this little area last turn, but I'm not sure exactly why. I wish I knew. I wish I had a good answer for why that is. I, there's just something I'm not understanding about the mechanics. Um, but okay, uh, you know, we continue on. It didn't hurt us in any way. Uh, that's so funny to me. He's just sitting there in Bangkok. Uh, Bangkok. That should be really fun to see what happens when he gets down there. Uh, for some interesting attacks. Now, we're still showing urban supply here, and, you know, we've got a port supply coming in as well. I'm going to turn this guy off full support. I don't want him running out to their carriers, but I am going to try to hit this. Oh, shoot. Too bad. It was just one ship. Let's try to hit him again. Hey, I think we sunk him. Yeah, we did. Uh, excellent. Let's go to the combat log this turn. Naval airstrike. Yeah, that was a cruiser destroyer group, and we, we sunk it. Uh, wow. Okay. This guy's just wreaking havoc out here. Um, yeah, his tactical is eight. So it's a tactical group, ground attack group. God, I love these things. They are tough business, even uh, against naval units. Um, I think I'm going to maybe combine these two. Not sure if that makes sense or not. I also think I can bring this unit, I could maybe, no, he's only got one supply. Let's put him on a ship, and let's take him back over here. 
to Darwin. All right, so now he's back in. We've got 40th division. That was the 37th division we brought over here. Okay, we'll set him down. I'm very, very tempted to take this 40th division and try to add to this a little bit. Um, 10 of 10. You know, for now, we can always split them back apart, but for now, let's put these two guys together. Whoops. Get off that. We'll get off enemy action. Let's go ahead and try to attack here. Ah, we took one point of damage. We backed him up. I'll say that. Um, now, who took the damage? This guy did. Okay. Uh, eh, sure. Let's do it. Nothing and nothing. All right. Well, we're sitting out here on a land bridge. That doesn't seem very defensible, but that's okay. Uh, well, I'm being a little aggressive out here for sure. Uh, we'll put him, We'll just keep this unit here. Actually put him a little priority repair to get his 10th point back. Uh, we took the guy out of Surubaya. That worked like a charm, actually. Uh, this unit, Salt Lake City, no, this division... Where all could he? He can't get all the way to Batavia. That's the thing. But I could bring him back in here to Surabaya. Uh, now we would get interdicted by a bunch of stuff. Um, but how funny. I mean, we could actually bring him here, right? Why couldn't we? Yeah, we could. This is a beach hex, too. Do I want to bring anything else out here? I think that that would get interdicted as well. I think I'm just going to stay put. I, I'm not going to get too crazy here. Uh, we've got a good setup right now. Um, okay, so we're going to try to hold on to Batavia as long as we can. I'll probably combine. Well, hell, why don't we just combine these two? There we go. Let's put them together. And then I'll actually back this guy up next time. Uh, but this is an infantry corps small. Looks good. And we've got this unit out here, this ground attack group. My goodness, has he just been tearing it up. Um, okay, anything else we want to move in Australia? Uh, great question. Uh, we've got this squadron. I, I may just leave him over here. We've got uh, these guys on garrison duty probably just wasted away there. I mean, you know, wh why are we garrisoning, garrisoning the western part of Australia? I, mean, I don't think there's a chance in, in hell that that's going to be a problem. Um, all right, let's go ahead and airstrike this unit if we can. This is that tactical group, class close support. Uh, we took one air dam. Well, what all happened there? Let's go to the combat log. Ah, okay. So we sunk a torpedo boat division. And then he's also got a coastal group over here. We took one point damage. He took three in air to air combat. Wow, this unit's just kicking ass. Let's try that one more time. And off you go. Two air damage. Two, yeah, I mean, we just sunk that in a heartbeat. Uh, this is a bom the tactical bomber group. We've got this on airfields. Let's go over here and see what we can do. Well, we took one loss there. And we took another point loss. Well, okay. Well, we gave it a shot. Um, strategic bombing. Should we try this again? Yeah, well, we took a point loss again. Let's hit this one, maybe. Nope, that didn't do it either. Well, we used up a lot of oil there, <laughs> but hey, whatever. That was fun. Um, let's take this unit, put it in Moresby, and let's combine... I don't think I can do that, actually. I can't move him that way. I have to put him on land first. Okay, that's fine. Um, he's at 14 of 20. He's at 10 of 10. We'll make this a large core. How about that? Um, here at Cairns, we could put this guy on a transport, I do believe. He's also got landing ships, yes. Uh, well, we don't need landing. We've got a port. What the heck am I talking about? Let's move him right over here. Uh, he couldn't, oh, excellent. He couldn't interdict us there. 
Uh, but he can't disembark. Why? Ay, 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 ay. I hate that. Um, well, now that they tried to interdict, it's not going to allow us to go back. But he did come into port. I don't know why he couldn't disembark into like this hex or this hex. Uh, but hopefully he can next time. Uh, he may get hit again, unfortunately. Uh, let's try an airstrike with the tactical group. Got these guys as aces. I like it. Oh, he took... Man, this is a tough group out here. Uh, it dealt like three damage to us all together. But okay, we gave it a shot. We've you know, hit with all of our bombers up here. Now we're going to move that unit up to cans. Uh, I was going to move this unit over here, but I, I really don't know why. I mean, you know, what's the point? Oh, he can't move this time. That's right. Okay, so we got an American, another American unit that can go out potentially over here. Uh, this one I'll try to put down someplace that I don't have to land or I don't have to go directly into the port uh, like here. All right, let's go here. He didn't hurt us. Nice. And we could go here to a friendly hex, or we could go here. I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to get down here and drive his air completely off here. I mean, we could almost get to his air there. Gosh darn it, that pisses me off. I could have gotten into this hex or even gone straight to Milne Bay. Well, do we have another unit that can go? Uh, this guy cannot. We have this Australian unit that could, right? Yeah, why not? Um, let's make sure, though, we get on a hex that's like a, that's a beach hex. Well, I could come all the way around here and threaten this unit as well. That's a nice unit for him. Let's try this. Yeah, that, there we go. We just knocked that unit completely out. That's what I was thinking. Um, awesome. And he's, you know, hell, he's almost to this unit. He's still got a point left. You can't even stop this guy. Uh, okay, these Australians are mad, mad as hell. Well, while he's just sitting up here, uh, let's go try to get, get another one. I mean, we've got units back here that we can move into these towns. I mean, we can move that into Townsville. So we've got Cairns, uh, Townsville. We need to probably put something in Rockhampton, although we could just fly this up to McKay. Why don't we do that, actually? Um, we should put something in Rockhampton, though. But why? I mean, he's not even over here. I, I guess, you know, I'm talking, but that's not really making a whole lot of sense. He doesn't even have any units over here. Um, but that being said, we'll go to Rockhampton. <laughs> that's how I always do it. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. okay, well, actually, we will. Um, okay, that all looks great. I, I could go maybe get this air unit at Milne Bay, but I... I don't dare get too many things over here, just in case he comes to interdict the port. Um, although we would have one hell of an air battle uh, at this point, because we've got a lot of stuff out here. Uh, this tactical group could move up here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. I mean, it doesn't quite get out there. But now we've got that tactical group ready to go. We've got these two subs that I will sit right off of Moresby here. Actually, I'll just put them right there. Um, that's the Indonesian line. He's probably got stuff going through the Indonesian line. We still have uh, these battleships down here we've got a lot of different things down here as a matter of fact and then we got some things through the whirly gig so let's take this sub we'll go put him with these other guys Eh, he can't quite do that yet okay so let's put him put him as a raider this is the cutlass uh hopefully that's not a chevy cutlass was that an Oldsmobile? Actually, that was an Oldsmobile, right? Uh, U.S. Fighter Group and the Washington. Okay, 
Uh, the Washington can go there in with those guys. And the fighter group, hell, I'm tempted to take them all the way up there. Uh, let's put the fighter group in at Cannes. Is that right? Well, I don't know. I have all of these covered at this point. Um, I guess if he does disembark there, he'll just go back into the jungle or something, won't he? Well, we're about to find out. Ah, he goes right there. Okay. Hey, that's perfect. That's fine by me. Let's put him on full support. Uh, naval? Air, maybe? Ah, let's do naval. Eh. Let's do airfield. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so now we've got an air superiority unit up here. I mean, the Americans just, their forces just coming out of the woodwork everywhere. Uh, we still got these units over here. Now he could, you know, go up to Nomaya and cause some trouble. Uh, but we'll probably wait for some Marines to do that. Um, we also have this, you know, air unit that we could put on a transport eventually. Still hasn't gotten one point better. I'm just going to take that off. Uh, he is doomed to never get better. Uh, we could also start putting pressure on him this way. I feel like I have his attention in Java. We now have his attention at Moresby. We could start coming towards the Gilbert Islands, uh, potentially. we still got that unit on Canton. But we've got, like, you know, Marines out here. Hell, I don't know. We could put him on a transport. We've got plenty of landing ships, too. Uh, could be interesting to just land out here and see what he does about it. Um, but we're probably not as strong navally as we need to be to do that, I feel like. I am going to take this Marine. We're building a lot more Marines. Let's put him on a transport. And let's go back through the Whirly Gig to Australia. All right, so we've sent that one out. Uh, we'll move him back down to Kona. Then we're also going to take this new fighter group that we got. We're going to put... Oh, we don't have enough to put him on a transport just yet. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for the turn. Uh, looking good, looking good. I mean, there's still things to be done. I mean, we get over here in China. Uh, he's starting to try to drive here through communist-held area. Um... But we're in good shape. India, we're now on the offensive, uh, shockingly. But we've just got British units like cr coming out like crazy. Oh, that reminds me. We should probably build something. Uh, infantry division, infantry corps small. That is 156. We don't have quite enough to do that. Why don't we wait until we can do that or something else? U.S. sitting on 253 on the stockpile. They could do another infantry corps. They could start thinking about... Hell, I don't know, pretty much anything. We could build just like a random uh, carrier group, even though we get a million of those later. Um, we could do a mech core. Well, that sounds intense. We could do some armor. I've been building a lot of Marines. Why don't we do another Marine, 6th Marine. There you go, down to 123. That means we also need to build a landing ship. Okay. Um, that's good. I think that's good for them. Uh, Soviet Union, China, Australia has enough to build another infantry division. Make an anti-tank. We'll purchase that. Okay. Uh, Canada, no. India, not quite. The Kiwis, not quite. Okay, so we'll have to come back to that next time. Going to keep pushing. Going to keep pushing. And hell, we could even really, really completely isolate his troops down here in Malaya. Uh, you know, we're looking okay in Java. We'll see what the supply situation is uh, next time. Uh, he is trying to interdict this, but uh, it's not a full blockade yet, it doesn't seem. Um, all right. Thanks so much for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. I re again, I really like this game. Uh, I just, I don't know. Uh, it's I love board games. And this is a great board game. So anyway, uh, thank you guys so much. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. I'll talk to you next time.